we wanted to, uh, to estimate the relationship between historical exposure to air pollution and COVID-19 mortality rate. What we found is that if we take two geographical areas that are pretty similar to each other with respect to population density, with respect to comorbidity of the population or socioeconomic status, but the only difference is that the day one is slightly more polluted than the other geographical area, the slightly more polluted geographical area will have an increased mortality rate for COVID-19 equal to 8%. The way we explain it is that your lungs and your cardiovascular system is already inflamed because you have been breathing this higher level of, of pollution. And so unfortunately then when they are affected by the virus, you might react worse. Fine particulate matter are very minuscule air droplets their their size is 100 of the diameter of a human hair so these are very 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 small particles and they're so tiny that unfortunately when you breathe them they penetrate deep into your lungs and can also can get into your bloodstream where are they coming from any type of combustion of fossil fuel is a major source of fine particulate matters but i would say the two major sources are uh, coal fire power plants and traffic. We haven't been able yet to assess whether or not there is a minimum level of pollution such that you will not have a relationship with uh, the mortality rate for COVID-19. However, I would like to emphasize that there is a very large amount of scientific evidence from all around the world on the relationship between historical level of fine particulate matter and all-cause mortality, not necessarily from COVID. And all of that research so far is pointing toward that there is really not a threshold. There is not very much that a single individual can do because this fine particulate matter penetrate in, indoor and so you can protect, you can don't smell them, and you can decide and you can stop breathing. So really the responsibility about breathing cleaner air comes from the government, comes from the government in making sure that there are regulation in place so then the automobile industry and the fossil fuel industry is regulated in a way that, for example, um, they switch from um, fossil fuel to other natural uh, sources of energy. And also I should point it out that the same sources of fine particular matter are also the same sources of greenhouse gases. So by preventing and by regulating the emission sources of fine particulate matter, we are also automatically combating climate change.